to my YouTube channel. My name is Tayana and I am the author of the blog livingsimpleathome.com. In today's video I wanted to share something a little bit different and I wanted to bring you along with me as I bake something that I've never tried before. So today I'm going to be making rhubarb and custard puff pastries. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. So to start making the pastry I'm going to add in 200 grams of unbleached all-purpose flour to a bowl and I'm going to sift this and I'm also going to add a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to add in 200 grams of chopped cold butter as well as 100 milliliters of cold water and I'm going to mix these in with a knife and just gently knead them until it all comes together and forms a Dough. The most time consuming part of this recipe is definitely going to be making the pastry because you have to roll it out and chill it so many times to get those layers so I'm hoping that it's going to be worth the wait and in the end we have a nice puff pastry. Next I'm going to roll out the dough into a rectangle and then I'm going to fold both sides to the centre and fold it in half again and quarter turn it and repeat that process one more time before I chill it in the fridge for 20 minutes. I'm going to get started on the rhubarb filling so I'm going to add roughly two large sticks or 200 grams of rhubarb. This is rhubarb that I just picked from our garden as well as 50 grams of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. in a pot on medium heat for about five minutes until the rhubarb is soft but it still holds its shape. So this is the third time that I have folded and rolled out the pastry and then chilled it for 20 minutes and it's hardly got any butter showing now but I'm still going to go ahead and do this two more times just to make sure that I've got those layers and like I said before hopefully we get a nice puff pastry when it cooks. So for the custard I'm going to add 150 milliliters of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla to a pot and I'm going to bring that up to a high temperature until the milk is just about to start boiling but take it off before it gets to that point. In a separate bowl I'm going to add one egg yolk, one tablespoon of unrefined sugar and one and a quarter teaspoons of corn flour and I'm going to whisk these together and add them into the milk and vanilla once that has slightly cooled then I'm going to put it back onto the heat and combine these ingredients until it becomes a very thick custard. So I just added the egg flour and sugar mixture into the milk and vanilla and I put it back on the heat on a low temperature and I'm just going to constantly mix this until it becomes really thick and it's only been on here for a few minutes and it's already starting to thicken up so give it another five minutes. You want to constantly stir it because you don't want it to stick and burn to the bottom of the pan because you want it so thick that um, it could easily happen. My 
I guess is that the custard is thick enough now so I'm going to cover the top and I'm going to put it into the fridge and let it cool completely. I'm going to cut the dough in half and roll it out until it is about 3mm in thickness and then I'm going to cut both halves into 4 equal rectangle pieces. Once I have my 8 pieces of pastry, 4 of them I'm going to cut out shapes in the centre, the other 4 I'm just going to leave as they are. Now I'm going to spread the custard evenly over the four plain bases and on top of that I'm going to put an even amount of rhubarb as well. up a whole egg and brush this around that border before I put the top layer of pastry onto that. This will just help to bind them together. oven at 200 degrees celsius for 15 to 20 minutes or until the pastries become golden brown. Right well that brings us to the end of today's video. As always if you'd like to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post weekly videos on simple sewing, natural living and from scratch cooking and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.